my pinstripes on today. Sunday best. So look, we're gonna get started on this cabinet. This medicine cabinet, 1929 Craftsman style house. So I have a crude drawing here. And I'm gonna put a picture up, obviously, of uh, what it is we're building. And I started out by making me a little story pole. So you here see the apron under the bottom of the window. I mean the uh, medicine cabinet. And we got a one inch sill, which in uh, the original one is square. I think I'm gonna round this off. Um, and we got the medicine cabinet box. And we got the top and a piece of half round will be applied here. And here is the top apron. Um, and then we have one inch uh, more at the top to nail the crown mold to. So everything that we're gonna make, I'm gonna make off of this story pole. So let me get everything set up and uh, we'll get rolling. All right, so the first thing we got here is gonna be the seal for the cabinet. Um, so I'm gonna flatten it because it's a little bit cockeyed, you see. And then we're gonna glue this piece to the edge because we wanna add some weight to the bottom of this medicine cabinet. So that's gonna be the first thing. We're gonna just do the joiner, flatten it out, glue it up, and then we'll move on to the other parts while this is setting up. So here's the pieces for our seal. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this up, set it aside. Once it sets, and I'll rip it down maybe an inch and an eighth. And then we'll ease the edges and uh, make a nice, kind of anchor that medicine cabinet, make, make it heavy on the bottom. Yellow glue got strong tack right off the get go. So I'm gonna put a couple pin nails in here. Or I know I won't get it with my router. So the piece we just made is this seal. So it's gonna protrude past this, which is essentially gonna be like a casing around this. Um, so it'll stick out past the casing three quarters, so that needs to be an inch and a half thick. Um, so next we're gonna make the sides, um, and we'll make the top. The sides need to be uh, three and a half inches deep and 22 inches long uh, for a rough cut. So we'll go ahead and cut them now and uh, get them ready. If you look at my little story pole here, here's our apron. Here's the seal we just glued up. This side piece will sit on top of this seal, come up to here, and then the top piece will sit on here, a piece of three quarter inch, half round, and a piece of small crown or bed mold. So we're gonna pick up our side dimensions off of this story pole. So I got this anchor gauge set up here, a little stop. And I gotta tell you, I love this tool. It's just, 
Everything about it is nice. And uh, you get a set, you cut a hundred of them, they're all gonna be the same. So our top is 17 and a half, outside to outside. Then when we add the overlap of the trim, that's where we come up with our 22. This is about two and a quarter inches hanging over past the cabinet on both sides. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this top piece 17 and a half. We're gonna add three quarters to it because we're gonna do a rabbit joint uh, in the top. And so I've got that laid out, you can see right here. And then we'll put a corresponding uh, tail on this one. So we're gonna set this in the saw and uh, sneak up on it. Okay, here's our top. Sixteenth heavy. Well, not even that. Thirty-two heavy. So, um, I didn't have to do all this. This is this piece of this cabinet is going to be buried in the wall. But my thoughts are that whenever you take the time to do something like this, practice. You know, even if you're not going to see it. So anyway, let's go ahead and we'll glue this up and uh, clamp it. And we should be just about ready to fit the seal. Okay. I had a little project to go out and look at yesterday afternoon, so I let these sit overnight and I took them out of the clamps and you kind of see what's happening here. This is going to be our sill. Obviously, I've got to cut it down and shape it. And then our trim will go around it like so. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to set up to cut this seal to the proper width. So here's the profile that I want to cut on this sill for the medicine cabinet. Now I think I'm going to set up my wood shaper to do this. So I got some steel cutters here. And that will get this bottom cut. And then this radius will get this top cut. Here, whoops, that's not good. Here, and then down here. So, anything you can do on that wood shaper, you can, that's, it's not a big one. Uh, you can do on the uh, router table as well. Or actually, for something like this, you could use the handheld router. Work just the same. But I kind of like to get it out once in a while, so I'm gonna set that up to shape this sill for our medicine cap. So we're gonna go ahead and cut our sill to length. So if we line up these center marks, center to center, and our, I guess what could be considered casing, it's gonna sit flush here and here. So if we go over three inches is what our casing is going to be. We want our sill to extend past that by three quarters. So we got it marked. Let's trim her down and then we can get to shaping it.
All right, now we're gonna cut the sides of this out. But this will give you a good idea of what we were aiming for. So it's kind of like, I used to be able to buy a window stool that looked very similar to this, but uh, I hadn't seen it around in years. All I can, all I find, ever find is that uh, real thin Anderson stool. And obviously this is wider than what's gonna be on here, but you kind of get the idea. It'll be a cute medicine cabinet. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and prep and cut this uh, apron to fit. Because remember, this is getting, uh, this is going in the wall. So just to give you an idea, the, this is about the profile that we'll end up with on the front. So I got it flipped upside down and we're gonna cut it here and then rip it and then cut it here and then rip it. Then we'll roll this piece over, screw up through the bottom into here. And then we'll be ready to put some uh, casing on it. to the big box store and I got me a piece of quarter inch maple for the back so I'm going to trim this down on the table saw and we're going to square it up on the back of this cabinet and uh, then we'll move to the casings for the front. side pieces just simply glue a nail in there could use some uh, pocket screws if you don't want to nail this and then the top obviously it's going to be ripped down but the top we're going to show about an eighth of an inch and then we're going to apply this half round then we're going to show the same distance as the width of these, which is three inches. So this will be an example of the top. When the top goes on, I really don't think I, I want these flush, um, but I might have to because of the door. The door will be hung and set flush with. So I would rather see a little bit of an offset like that, which would probably be okay too because the, uh, the door would hang inside of this just a, a little bit, but just a little bit, just that head piece a little bit prouder. So now I might run these through, make these about these side pieces about five eighths, just so when they come up and we get to this header part it adds some weight to that. So, let's get rolling on that. OK, 
Okay, here you can get an idea of what I'm looking for. So we got about an eighth of an inch step there. And then, um, so there you go. Uh, it gives it some mass, makes it heavier at the top. This will go in like so. And then with our hair to piece, we'll go in like so, and it'll hold it all good and flush. So the top I've cut three-eighths on each side longer so it steps out a little bit on the sides as well as the front. Then I'm going to leave an eighth inch below this half round, the thickness of this style exposed. Then the crown. And I'll probably leave an inch or so there for pipe. So let's go rip this down on the table saw. Here's a look at what our cabinet looks like at the moment. Still looks a little short, a little stubby, but that's going to change. So while this is blue setting up, I'm going to head and uh, fashion the sill for now here at the bottom. It'll be the same width as the sides, same thickness, and when we put it on, it'll be in plane with the side pieces. Okay, uh, while this glue setting on this sill, you see I just screwed it through the back with some pocket screws. I put a straight edge here, clamped it, so this uh, apron doesn't go up or down, stays in plane with the casing on the front of the cabinet. But you can see it's starting to gain some height now. And then uh, once that sets up, we'll start on the trim for the top. Okay, that's the first part of the first part. So you can see it's starting to get heavier. We'll do the crown mold next. And we'll take a look at it.
So on the back side, I just uh, cut some little blocks, put in here to uh, stouten this crown mold up. Probably don't need it, but what the heck. Okay, it's time to build a door. So um, we've done this on other videos and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm just gonna brush through it though. But um, taking a look at our cabinet, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it uh, about a quarter inch, an eighth to a quarter wider, eighth to a quarter taller, and um, then we will trim it. Once it's glued up and set, we'll trim it to um, to the dimensions we need. So I'm going to set up. I'm going to do this on the wood shaper too because um, everything I'm doing on a wood shaper you can do on a um, router table as well. They got bits for that. I just prefer my old wood shaper. So I'm gonna set up for that and then we'll get rolling. So I got two pieces of five quarter here, cut the rough length. Um, and I, I could make these out of three quarter material, but this gives me some playroom. So what I'm gonna do is run these through the joiner and flatten them. Um, then run them through the thickness planer and get it parallel. And uh, then we'll rip them to width. Just the front profile. And, and once we get the door glued up, then we'll wrap it the back side of this out to receive the mirror. Router, you can see that this cutter here does a coat cut. And as long as you get the bearing in line with the fence, then uh, you're good to go. And, this is the profile that our door has. Which is pretty nice. So we'll glue this up. And uh, once the glue sets, then we'll set a router up and then we'll wrap it the back out. Um, so we have a place for the mirror to set and then um, a panel of some sort to protect the back of the mirror. Okay, I'm gonna just show you this. You can get an idea of what our door is gonna look like. Now obviously there'll be a gap around it once I fit it to the to the opening. Pretty neat. I think I like it.
All right, we got that bottom piece on. I can't stand it up because the glass will fall out, but you can see it adds a little weight to the bottom of the cabinet. Our door's finished and uh, we're ready for some hardware and some hand sanding. Still waiting on the hardware though. And it's Saturday, they're expecting snow tomorrow. So probably next week sometimes before I get to hardware. So in the meantime, I will go ahead and uh, put a good hand sand job on this. Okay, that's a wrap on our medicine cabinet. Um, off camera, we painted it and installed the door. So let's take a look at it. Pretty nice. Got a heavy seal, bead detail at the bottom. Uh, very super nice hardware. I got this from uh, online. At, uh, I'll try to remember to put a link in for it, but it's restoration hardware. Very heavy. Got one fixed shelf in there. Just some simple pieces of wood to hold the glass in place. Very nice. Off the shelf, crown mold. Piece of half round. I did my door on the shaper, but you can do that on a, uh, you know, on your um, router table as well. Anyway, all in all, a super nice build, super fun build that um, anybody can build. Anybody can do it. A little bit of patience. Um, make your own little medicine cabinet if you're into this kind of thing. Anyway, if you guys stuck with me through this build, Lord knows we appreciate it. If you're a new subscriber, we thank you much for that. Also, if you've been with us for a while, we thank you for that. Um, not sure what we're doing next. Uh, we'll have the, we will have the uh, stair install video soon. Um, still working on some odds and ends for that little project, so stay tuned for that. Bench starting to get a good workout. That's always positive. Um, so anyway, thanks for sticking with us. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one. So God bless and peace.